right, hello, wine drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday and our chili in Argentina tasting coming to an end. It's our last review, marathon day of drinking and reviewing this tasting, but a lot of great stuff here, and that is what separates us me at the wine watch from all the other wine stops not only do we drink all these wines but we tell you our wine drinking people about them and all the other great wines that are available in the south florida marketplace well this is our friends from winebow and um some great sauvignon blanc and pinot noir from this Leda property see we've had these wines in the store and for the price tag Wow, twelve dollars for the Sauvignon Blanc. This one has got a beautiful bouquet: papaya, passion fruit, kiwi, lovely tropical fruit with hints of kind of that green peppercorn and pepperoncini, peppery spice, some briny minerally notes. Really fresh and zesty wine on the tongue with a lot of that lovely tropical fruit, finishing really fresh with that nice green peppercorn spice, leaving the tongue salivating for food. Uh, excellent juice at twelve dollars. Wow, that may have been my favorite wine of the tasting for the price. Uh, the Leda Pinot Noir Las Brisas. This has got a lovely cola and brown spice to the strawberry and cranberry-like fruit. Some light earth tones here on the nose also. Really lovely, smooth, and silky texture on the tongue. One of the things we love about Pinot Noir with bright strawberry fruit and brown spice. A short and pleasant finish. Very good little Pinot at $21. All right, and then Terra Nobla Grand Reserve a Carmenere. And uh, this has got that classic peppery coffee kind of tobacco note you get from Carmenere. Some graphite mineral notes, dark plum and cherry fruit. Really smooth wine on the tongue. Carmenere's got this lovely smoothness, silkiness to the texture and a really bright finish. That peppery spice and coffee note showing some nice complexity here at 1950. An excellent little Carmenere. All right, the Enemigo. El Enemigo Malbec. And this is uh, from uh, two big names in Argentina. Cut, touch of Cabernet Franc in the blend here. Good amount of that sweet blackberry and blueberry fruit, a host of espresso, dark chocolate, black licorice spice, graphite, a really big and chewy wine on the tongue. This wine's got layers of dark berry fruit, pretty floral notes, that black licorice, and a nice freshness. Uh, really big but balanced. Something you get from high altitude wines. Uh, the altitude helps maintain their acidity and uh, excellent juice at $30. All right, then the Punto Finale Malbec Reserva 2010. Um, you know, no rhyme or reason how we showed these wines. This is a, you know, a little lighter in style, but still excellent. Thick blackberry and blueberry fruit notes of soy, kind of sweet tobacco and mocha. A big and chewy wine on the tongue with nice texture, depth of fruit, but also, again, really nice freshness here. This wine, lovely balance, an excellent little wine. And, at $18, and uh, you can find excellent wines at $18, excellent wines at $30. That's the great thing about Argentina. You know, you can't look at the price and the rating. Um, you have to taste the wines. And this last one is always a crowd pleaser, the Allegrini and Renacier Enamore, which is 100% appassimento, uh, and it's a joint venture between Allegrini and Renacier. It's 45% Malbec, 40% Cabernet and the rest is Bonarda and Cabernet Franc. And what that Apesamento does when they dry the grapes, it oxidizes the tannins, makes them a little rounder. And uh, this one's got a big bouquet of dark cherry liqueur like fruit, sweet tobacco spice, light smoke, violet floral notes, sweet balsamic, some dark chocolate, really lovely bouquet of aromas, and a big and chewy wine on the tongue. But like I said, this one probably even has some residual in it. The tannins really soft, and uh, even though they're big, this wine's got sweet fruit, that cocoa spice, and 15% alcohol. Hua, uh, nice silky smooth tannins at the end. Still excellent juice at 25.50, and that's what we had to drink with our friends from Winebow. I'm your host Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first. <laughs>